we are going to CJAD. Credit goes to Mark for finding this one. Oh, let's go. But uh, it's a very, very exciting day for Valhalla. It's part two of us sharing our vision to Montreal. I think it's in here now, isn't it in Astral? No. I'm a little nervous. I'll be honest, I've never been on radio before. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun experience and should be interesting. Live at Astro Media, where we're about to go on CJD live on air to talk about the Valhalla Movement. For those who don't know, CJD is one of the most popular radio talk shows in Montreal. So we're hoping to reach a lot of people uh, on their drive home and uh, really get out the message about Valhalla. So it's just your story. News Broadcast Center in downtown Montreal. Vision is off the ten. It's very convenient. Okay, here we go. Welcome back. It's three fifty on a Thursday afternoon. Uh, this is a fascinating story, a fascinating project. I don't know what you call. You can make your mind up after we hear what we're talking about. Mark, uh, you pronounce it Coppola or Coppola? Coppola. Coppola. Mark That's Coppola it. and uh, Jordan. Only can take a shot at your last name. <laughs> it's Lejeune. Sure, it is. Uh, Jordan, Mark, uh, you're both here. This is, before we even talk about what you guys are doing, which is this whole idea of living off the grid, I want to talk about how you guys met, because basically you live at opposite ends of the continent. I mean, you, you live in California. You're from here, from Montreal. Yeah. How did you two guys meet? Uh, we met online. I mean, basically, he had a website that's called HiveExistence.com, a huge website with lots of listeners and lots of traffic. I had stumbled upon that at uh, you know a couple of years ago, and then uh, I always knew that I had to contact Jordan to talk about something, and I didn't know what. Um, and so finally, it, you know, this project kicked off, and then we ended up talking. That's a fascinating thing you just said. I always knew I had to contact him. I just didn't know about what. You liked the idea. You liked what you saw enough that you wanted to make contact, follow up, and see, you know, if there was something you could do together. Absolutely. And this I, I together just, turned out to be living off the grid. Now, I just want you to explain what you explained to me during the break, which was your original idea, Jordan, was to get a building. Go ahead and, and tell me what that was originally supposed to be. Sure. Um, my original idea was to somehow uh, get the funding to buy or rent out an entire building and then have people apply from all over the world to come live there for an extended period of time, probably around a year, okay. um, so they could uh, you know, basically totally take time away from whatever was uh, um, taking up their time beforehand and focus completely on following their bliss, whether that be um, art or building a business or uh, starting a project similar to what we're doing here. And uh, the, the idea is that... Um, it, it's really powerful when people come together in a community space, not only because they can, uh, in that case, follow their bliss, but also help others achieve the same thing. Okay, and then you kind of added to this, because I asked you, well, what about the sustainability of this? You then said, well, let's take this kind of rough idea. Now we can get ourselves a piece of land, as opposed to this building, mm -hmm. uh, in, involve a green portion of the concept, because you're going to have your own farm. Yeah. Uh, and you grow your own food. Yes. Uh, and most people have done this before because people have lived off the grid for a while, typically not in big groups. Mm -hmm. There's always the one guy who decides to head off into the wilderness for a year and then come back and whatever, but you guys are doing this as a collective in essence. Uh, but you're doing it here. You're like 20 minutes outside of the city. Yeah, so we're on the south shore of Montreal. We've got 60 acres that we basically acquired to be able to do this project. So uh, we're in the beginning of stages of developing all that land and you know, setting it up in terms of permaculture and being able to grow our own food, to provide our own energy, so on and so forth, and to build a community center that would house um, all the different ideas, all the different spectrums of, of people and things that a community does and a society does. Why couldn't you do this in the community you're in now? I mean, why the need to go outside and have to do this? I think, um, I think a lot of people realize that the world that we live in uh, has problems, right? And, and there's so much that we can do to change these problems. And I feel that at Valhalla, at what we're doing, we're trying to build the world that we believe is possible in our hearts. I think we feel that we can do it better. We can be more sustainable. We don't have to depend on some of these dinosaur technologies and so on and so forth. And uh, it's, it's a challenge. I think we thrive off the challenge of also being able to do something that's different and uh, you know pushing the human race forward in some way, shape, or form. So you don't have to rely on society in general, on big business, on anything else. What about money? What do you do for money? 
Um, I mean, I personally run a marketing company. So what we do and, and kind of, you know, what we're doing right now is part of what I do for money. So we do videography, uh, he does website design and so on and so forth. And that is allowing us and you kind of to fund these projects out of our pockets. So it's not as if when I describe living off the grid, you guys are not going to not have electricity. You can't run a website without electricity. Oh, we will. We definitely will okay. have electricity. So, so the misconception of that is that what we were trying to do is be 100% self-sustainable. So what that means is that we will provide our own energy, our own food, our own way of living. But that doesn't mean that we're going to go back into the dinosaur age. We're not going back into the caves. We're mm -hmm. actually taking technology that exists today and trying to use that to be able to um, advantage us. So there are options out there, and we just kind of want to make that known and feasible and, and, and show that it's possible. Now, everybody who's in here, because you have, you know, you have Lawrence who's on a camera here, and this gentleman is on a camera here. You all live together as it is right now, right? Are you part of the same collective? Oh, yeah. Okay. So is the idea to encourage as many people who would just want to get away, leave everything behind, as you described to Jordan at the beginning, uh, to join in with you? Yeah, that's actually where we, we find this project is really different from other uh, sustainable projects because we're not trying to just leave behind the old world and go have our, our fun off the grid. Um, the whole point is we want to document this and make it very apparent and, and visible to the public that not only is uh, communal, sustainable living uh, really fun and feasible, but also necessary. Can I ask a stupid question? Pardon me, I don't mean to you know, ask a dumb question. Sure. But at the end of the day, you, you have a big building now. You have a house that you all live in together. Mm -hmm. So as more and more people to decide maybe to join you, you need to get a bigger house, build more rooms. Is that how it works? Uh, ideally, yes. I mean, hopefully. But the, the, whole ha the whole thing that happens is that the more people that join, the more people we have to actually help us build this new building, right. this new community center, so on and so forth. And I mean, there's so many resources out there that there's always more space. What made you want to do this in the first place? I'm guessing you're just a regular guy from here. What are your parents, you your parents here? My parents are here, yeah. What do they think about this? Uh, they think we're crazy. Uh, but, you know, I, I, the way I see it, and, and it was something that Jordan at once told, you know, said, is that if we you know, weren't doing something crazy, then it, I wouldn't be striving or wouldn't be doing enough. I think it's important that people do things that are crazy, because that's how new inventions and new uh, progress forward happens. And do you have like a time frame for this thing? You talk about doing your building idea for a year. Uh, is this a project, I mean, is this something to do for now, for a year or two, or do you just do this for as long as you think you can do it? I mean, yeah, is this, your, is this your life? Uh, I mean, I'm sure that it's hard to say it's, it's our life, but yeah, we're definitely in it for the long term. We want to build this one here and then encourage uh, the this, this spreading of this kind of uh, communal sustainable living elsewhere. We want to build a, a network, I guess, of these kind of places. And how many people do you, I mean, do you have like a business plan? Is that sort of... Uh, we definitely we definitely have planned everything to to some degree, but the plan always changes. And I think um, the best way to to do or to explain it is that we flow like water. Um, the, in the same way that water flows in a stream, that we have to, in a sense, flow through life in that same way. And our plans and everything that we're doing is flexible in that matter. So you sort of go wherever you get taken. Well, we go where we get taken, and I mean, you you've you got to recognize the signs and the doors that open in front of you mm -hmm. and walk through them. And I think it's through walking through them and taking action that we're seeing. Our will and our and our and our manifestation of intent happen. It's pretty idealistic stuff. I wish I'd have done. I wish I'd have been around um, <laughs> yeah. a few years ago. It's kind of difficult for me to think of doing this. Well, now. you are around. Right? Yeah. Well, I'm not around to necessarily get involved in something like this right about now. I got too much stuff. Oh. But I'll be getting rid of that stuff <laughs> slowly but surely, right? Because that's what you do when you get older. Sure. Um, how many people do you want to have involved in this? Do you have a finite number? Yes, yeah, I'm around 50. Because um, scientists have done all their experiments, and they say that that's a that's a, around the number that a tribe can exist in without splitting up naturally into two two groups. So at that, that sounds point, like Survivor now. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are in a sense trying to build a, a tribe of people, you know, a community of really like-minded people um, that are going to have fun together and also try to help change the world. How many do you have now? I'd say that in, in terms of full-time, we're almost 10. That we're basically you mean you could be part-time in this thing? I mean, well, I mean, it's not that, that you, you part -time. commit or you don't commit. Well, well we... We have uh, four people living full full time at the house, committing okay. all of their time to working on the Oh, I see. Okay. And then we have other people that are still working jobs, either part time or full time, and then helping out when they can. That's great. And if you want it for people listening now who might want to know more about this, maybe potentially how to get involved, where do you go online? ValhallaMovement.com. And you can find us on Facebook, Valhalla Movement, or Twitter, ValhallaMovement.com. All right, guys. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you. Good luck with this. Well, thank you very much. All right. Thanks, to all you guys, for coming in. We're going to take a break. It's three fifty eight. Right. Awesome. That's cool. awesome, guys. Making it Thank you. Uh, you mean that I really think it's kind of wild. That's great. <laughs> he does make it really good. to meet you. Thank you, you very much. All the best. I appreciate it. Take care. Thank you. you. Too.
I'm gonna go ask guys if I can fill in the sound. Oh, you need like three hands to open that door. You gotta really. It's a. It's oh, a okay, okay. I'll put it.